Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the DrJoe.com. So welcome to video number six of the COVID-19 video series so far. Now in this video, uh, I want to talk about what's in a name. I want to keep it lighthearted because a lot of the other videos were hard topics and uh, I want to make this one soft. So this one is about the name COVID-19 because that's the name of the coronavirus today, COVID-19. Um, how did it come about and what does it stand for? When the virus first uh, broke in late December to January this year, um, the name at the time was Novel Coronavirus and um, you know because WHO wasn't quite sure what to call it so they called it Novel Coronavirus um, but over time WHO felt it needed to be given a proper name. So one of the things uh, WHO wanted to avoid in the name for this virus was to avoid um, the names of places or animals. It didn't want that attachment uh, because sometimes there are racist undertones. Uh, even though WHO doesn't mean it, um, subsequently when it, a name is given to a, a virus, uh, if it's attached to uh, a place. So WHO wanted to stay clear of that this time around. So it came up with uh, COVID-19 in mid-February so it's now called COVID-19 that's the name of the coronavirus so the idea behind that was to avoid any stigmatization that will happen as far as naming the virus is concerned so what does the name COVID-19 and 19 stand for uh, the COVID-19 what does it mean well the CO means corona and the VI means virus and the D means disease and then the 19 relates to 2019, the year the virus uh, first broke. So, um, so what you have that the COVID-19 is coronavirus disease 2019. Um, yeah, I just thought it's a nice trivia for you. <laughs> it, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Um, it's not important, but it is important in a way. So I thought I'd just uh, do a little video on that. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this one. Um, so see you next time.